Are you trying to remove a printer but it just won't delete? I've got some great tips that should get rid of it in no time. I was working on a computer the other day, we had a printer problem and I needed to remove the printer and reinstall it again. The problem was, when we right clicked on the printer and tried to remove the device, it just said removing device, nothing we could do would get rid of it. Now like any IT problem, the first thing you always do is turn the computer off and on again. But in this case, that wouldn't do it. So I've got a list of six things I'd like to share with you that should get rid of a stuck printer that you can't delete. We're going to be working in devices and printers, so I'll show you how to find that if you're not there already. Go into the Start menu and just type in Control Panel. Go to Control Panel and under Hardware and Sound, you should find View Devices and Printers. Just click on that and scroll down until you see the list of printers with yours there. The first thing we're going to try is cancelling all the documents before we remove the printer again. To do this, right click on the printer and go to see what's printing. In this case, we've got nothing there, but you may have one or two documents there. Go to the printer menu at the top and say cancel all documents. Say yes to confirm that you want to cancel all the documents and then close that window. Once you've done that, Restart the computer and then try to right click the printer and remove it again. If that doesn't work, the second thing we're going to try is to remove all the related printer software. Go into the start menu and type in programs and you should find an option to add or remove programs in the system settings. Scroll down this page until you find the manufacturer of your printer. This is an HP printer so I'm going to the HP section. If you find anything to do with your printer in this list, click on it and then click on uninstall. Remove anything else to do with your printer, restart the computer, and then try removing the printer once more. And if that doesn't work, the third thing we're going to try is print management. Go into the start menu and type in print management. And open that app, you should see a screen like this. Click on all printers on the left hand panel and look for your printer in the list. Right click your printer and delete it. It will say, are you sure you want to delete the printer? Say yes. Having deleted your printer there, restart the computer again, and then go into devices and printers one more time. See if your printer's still there. If it's still there then, try deleting it one more time. And if that doesn't work, we're going to move on to print server properties. You'll find this by going into the control panel and finding view devices and printers again. Now click on any printer, doesn't have to be the right one. And at the top, you should find print server properties. If you don't see print server properties when you click on one printer, just try clicking on another printer and you should find it at the top. Once you're in print server properties, click on the drivers tab and look through the list for your printer. Click on your printer, then click on remove and select remove driver and driver package and then press OK. You might find that this doesn't remove it from the list straight away, in which case there's one more thing we have to try first. Close this box, leave the devices and printer screen open where it is and we want to bring up a run dialog. Right click on your start icon and then click on run. Once you get the run dialog, type in services.msc and press OK and you get a list of services. Scroll down until you find print spooler. Right click on print spooler and click on stop. Notice that now I've stopped it, it no longer says running. Now we've got the print spooler stopped, we just need to go into file explorer and go down to the C drive and then Windows. Now go into System32 and scroll down until you find the Spool folder and then go into Printers. Say Continue to get access. Now if you find anything within the Printers folder, delete it and then close File Explorer and then you just want to go into the Print Spooler, right click and start again. And we can see that's running again. Now close this and one more time we want to click on a printer and then Print Server Properties, then Drivers, Click on your printer you want to remove and then click on remove. Again, it's remove driver and driver package, then OK. If that doesn't work, we can go on to step five, which is to delete the printer from the registry. This is quite advanced, so if you don't know what you're doing in the registry, stay out of it. If you do know what you're doing, go to the start menu and type in reg edit and click on reg edit. This will open the registry editor. Now we want to navigate to the registry key of H key local machine system current control set, control, print and printers. Staying to the left hand side, we want to find our printer in the registry, right click it and then delete it. Finally, 
close the registry editor and restart the computer. Once the computer is restarted, you can open up devices and printers again and try removing your printer one more time if it's not already removed itself. At this point, if the printer is still there, we have our sixth and final option, which is to go into Device Manager. So click on the Start menu and type in Device Manager. There we go. Click on that. Now Device Manager shows all the devices on our computer, but we just want to go one step further and we want to go to View and show Hidden Devices. Down here on the left-hand side, you'll find a Print Queue section and also a Printers section. On my computer, the printer section isn't there though. First of all, open up print queues by clicking on the little arrow, right click on your printer, and then uninstall device, and then confirm by pressing uninstall. If it has a tick box asking to delete the drivers too, tick that box. If you have a printer section, expand that as well, and right click and remove your printer from that list too. Once you've done that, close device manager, restart the computer, and then check devices and printers. You should find that your printer has gone for good now, but again, if it hasn't, right click it and remove it. So you should have found that one of those six steps has hopefully removed your printer. All you need to do now is go to add a printer and find your printer again. You might need to download your drivers again, in which case go to the manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers from there. So I'd really like to know if that helped you remove your printer. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you'll get more great videos from me. If you've got a technology question for me, I'd really like to hear it, so leave it in the comments below or tweet me at Dave's Tech Rescue. And I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.